iconic piece of hardware. <laughs> so the first thing you're going to notice when you get inside the box is some old school styrofoam style packaging and everything on the interior is exactly as you would have found it 26, 27 years ago. Wow, that's a long time. I'm feeling old talking about this. And uh, here's your user manual, just as it would have been back then with your wonderful Japanese to English translations, which always make for an entertaining read. I totally recommend that you give this baby a read if you do pick up something as unique and rare as something like this is today. Next, you've got the classic, iconic Nintendo Zapper. This is the gray model before it got replaced by the red model gun um, after, you know, parents in the Western world got paranoid as they do so well and said, I don't want my kid rocking a gray gun. And look at how imposing this baby is. You do not want to be on the wrong end of this barrel. Oh, no, not if you're a duck, at least. <laughs> Now, uh, on the other side here, you can see it's got the Nintendo Zapper insignia on it, as well as the 1985 date. So, as I mentioned before, this entire package is coming from back in time. Now, probably the most interesting part of this unboxing is going to be Rob the Robot, because he was only included either on his own or through this deluxe package right here, and I never had the chance of owning him back in the day, nah. I just got the standard edition of the console. It came with the Zapper and Duck Hunt, and that was about it. I believe one controller. Um, so this is actually my first chance to get a look at him. I'm going to give you guys a closer look in a quick second. And uh, here's how you get it all connected to your television. Yeah, back in the day, there was no HDMI. I'm schooling all you youngsters here it was strictly analog coaxial style into the back of your tube television how exciting it was to get your standard video video resolution back then and you've got the classic nintendo controller which surprisingly as rectangular <laughs> as it is it still feels relatively comfortable in my hands maybe it's just me having some nice memories of playing some old school games back in the day with my brother and my dad but it does feel decent and of course it's cabled and there was no wireless back then and you can see on the back here it's made in japan just like everything else in this package manufactured in japan designed in japan this baby is japanese through and through except for of course the north american distribution so let's get a closer look at the console this is the one that i'm sure a lot of you had on the shelf at some point in your lives if you owned one of these let me know down in the comment section let's see how many of us started our gaming gaming careers on the nintendo entertainment system so here's a closer look at the front this is where your controllers attach to the console you've of course got your power button and your reset button there's also a little light beside the power button to indicate that it's on on the back of the unit you've got a spot for your ac adapter to power up the console you've also got a channel 3 channel 4 switch once again for that analog beauty that this thing is capable of and then you've got another video out i believe for you for the rf switch and then you've got standard um, analog audio and video on the I believe it's the left side of the unit the left side of the unit if you're looking from the front and then on the front of the unit here's a closer look at your controller ports as well as your power reset button and of course where the games are actually inserted I remember blowing on those cartridges trying to get them to get them picked up hey did anybody have those 101 game cartridges 